Thank you. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here this early in the morning. I hope you enjoyed yesterday. Uh, if you went out to parties, I hope you had a good time. Thank you, Anna, for the introduction. Um, yeah, that, the original name of the presentation was the story of the Italian communities. But, and when I applied to talk here, I really thought we had a, such a special story. Um, after talking to many people at different work camps and uh, getting more involved in the community team, and especially, so thank you, thank you, Emmanuel, uh, after reading the wonderful series that Emmanuel ran on the WordCamp Europe blog about all the European communities, I think what I'm about to tell you will resonate with many of you. Uh, we will just use Italy as an example, because it's my country and I know it better than others. I will not talk about other countries <laughs> because I cannot really say much about them. So, how many of you attended word camps in Italy in 2014 or 2015? Ah, you guys are cute. <laughs> 2014, 2015, I repeat. <laughs> no, no, I know you raised your hand to embarrass me, but sadly, no, there were no word camps in Italy during those years. And there were only two meetups, Milano and Roma, and they didn't meet very often. So it was pretty sad over there. Um, but actually, WordPress has been localized in Italian for since the beginning, I think, by a small group of passionate and dedicated translators. Paolo and Steve, they are our GTEs, the global translation editors, and they have taken care of translations for as long as I remember. And I'm sure that if it wasn't for them, WordPress wouldn't be as popular as it is today in Italy. They did so almost by themselves. They saw so many translators come in, drop a few strings here and then, and disappear. Uh, so they really, they really took care of the translations for the Italians for so many years. But sadly, translation, localization, is not enough to build a community. We really had some challenges to overcome. How familiar are you with Italy and Italians? And I do this in purpose. <laughs> we are a wonderful bunch of people, okay? We have a beautiful country, but on this particular matter of being part of a global community, we had to face two issues that prevented us from getting involved with the global project. The first one, we don't speak English. Um, we use our hands a lot, and we're, fairly cert we're pretty certain that when we do this, you get a general idea of what we're talking about, but you're probably not. But we're really sure that if we do this, if we wave our hands, this is English, more or less for us. We are a huge country, second issue. We are a huge country uh, with 60 million people uh, and so many cultural differences amongst us. Uh, dialects are alive and kicking and we all speak Italians, but there are some regions where we mainly speak our local dialect. Recipes, uh, ravioli in a 10 miles radius, you probably have like five recipes and Everyone is convinced that their ravioli recipe is the original one. So we're hyper-localized as Italians. So despite having these amazing contributors that really did their best to translate WordPress in Italian, uh, we had some WordCamps er, in the early days, 2008, 2013. And despite the vast diffusion of WordPress in Italy, there was a lack of community, and there was a lack of offline activities. And there's also a third issue. Um, I, well, this is very close to me, and I think software users that are not developers will uh, know what I'm talking about. So do you all know how open source works? The releases, committing, is there someone here that doesn't know anything about open source? 
where you're lucky. I didn't do it. I didn't know anything about open source. <laughs> I didn't know how WordPress was released. I didn't know that there were people writing code that were volunteering for writing code. Translations, godsend probably. Um, so I've been making a living off of WordPress since 2010 and I never gave back to the community because I'm not a developer so I didn't know I could contribute. But you actually can contribute also if you're not a developer. Uh, so please join us on Contributor Day because it will blow your mind the possibilities and the so many things you can do even if you can write a line of code. So how did we go from this wasteland, <laughs> sad, sad wasteland I just described to us, to this? Look, we're all smiling, we're having a good time. So apparently something we did made us smile and have a good time. Um, we took it one step at a time uh, and went through some very important milestones and I will single out a couple of them. Yes, <laughs> Franz and Francesca are here, I think. Uh, in spring 2015, two friends, two WordPress professionals, realized that what was really missing was a central hub to connect us all and to allow us to share the efforts that were timidly being made around the country. Uh, Franz is living in the UK. He saw that they had a Slack instance there that worked very well. So I say, hey, let's do this in Italy too. So on June 9, 2015, so we're one year old, uh, they opened the Slack instance for the Italian community and this really allowed us to exchange information and grow all together. It was really, really important to have this. In a matter of weeks, we opened channels, we wrote guidelines, a manifesto, we had town hall meetings just to get a general idea of what, where we were going. And we talked a lot about meetups. Uh, there were meetups already in Italy. Um, some of them were struggling a little bit. There were meetups that wanted to start and they didn't know how. So I would say that the Slack instance was very, very important to kickstart the whole meetup craze that is going on in Italy. Uh, by the end of August 2015, we had eight meetups. Last April, we had 12 and today we have 15. So and we have them almost everywhere. We miss central Italy, but I hope uh, something good will come in the next months. Uh, the biggest change of all came during WordCamp Europe, and this is why you should always attend WordCamp Europe, <laughs> because good things happen here. Good things happen when so many different communities come together to celebrate their love for WordPress. Uh, during Contributor Day, a bunch of people met, I think eight, ten, some of them are here. Um, and in eight hours, they went from dreaming, probably went through a little bit of fighting, uh, because we're passionate, uh, to planning and to action. And this is a, an incredible achievement for a one-day work, I would say. Uh, the Rosetta blog that was silent for seven years was revived, and in July we started posting again. Uh, maybe you know, maybe you don't, uh, every locale, uh, every uh, website, uh, WordPress localized website has a blog feature in it. And this is the easiest way to communicate across all the WordPress users that are using a localized version. Because the news will show in their dashboard. So we started posting uh, about meetups mainly. Uh, about releases. We had a couple of posts about WordCamps that were going on other places. And suddenly people noticed that there were news in Italian in their dashboard. And they started coming to meetups and say, at the beginning, everyone was very surprised. Everyone who came to a meetup after seeing it on the Rosetta dashboard, they were, on their dashboard, it was like, hey, suddenly there were the name of my city on it, instead of some random news from Planet WordPress. Uh, and they started seeing that their city was missing. 
So they decided to start new meetups. We chatted for the whole summer. Italians take a long break during August, but we kept on chatting. We just couldn't stop. I like to call that the summer of WordPress love. It's not catching up. I don't know why, because it's really nice, I think, but I'll keep using it. So after this intense months of talking, we really, really wanted to meet in person. We really wanted to hear the voice behind the nicknames. Because really, I can tell you, there were hours and tons of messages over there. So we decided, with the help of some friends from abroad, more experienced than us on community matters, to organize a bizarre thing. Because it, they're not very popular, but they really should be. A standalone contributor day. Uh, we would meet in Milano that it's easy to reach from all over Italy for a day to get to know each other mainly, but also to learn how to contribute. Because let's be fair, at that point, beside those Uber geeks that were already active in the community, we didn't really know how to contribute. It all sounded fancy and exciting, but we didn't know what to do. It took us a couple of months to get there, endless discussions about the most important thing of all, food. Uh, <laughs> but we did it. <laughs> uh, in November, we had our standalone contributor day and we had 60 people attending from all over Italy and people that came from abroad to help us. We invited leads to come from Italy and Europe and they helped us understand the true meaning of giving back and contributing to a global project. Because, yeah, it sounded excited, but no, we didn't know what to do. And the thing, when I think about that day, the main thing I remember is the feeling of having experienced friends there showing us what to do and not just telling us go read the Get Started at a Contributor Day in the handbook. They sat with us, they looked at our screens, they told us, oh, you should do that. And we started brainstorming ideas and everyone got very excited. It was really a great day. We had six, six teams, accessibility, core, community, mobile, polyglots and support. Uh, I'd like to single out three of them because, yeah, writing code is great, but I think these three themes um, are the ones that can really help you to uh, grow your community. So, of course, first of all, community team. <laughs> uh, we learned some best practices in Milano. Uh, we started helping people who were interested in starting new meetups in new cities and they didn't know how. Uh, we help people with applications. We learned how to do that because we didn't really know how to do that. Um, I, I think it was very satisfying to help smaller cities, smaller meetups, uh, brainstorm ideas, how to get more people involved and also understand that it's okay if your meetup has three people having cake in a bakery in the afternoon. That's perfectly okay. We had the polyglots. Uh, the motto for the polyglots, it's the translation team, is translate all the things. Translations help make WordPress more accessible to everyone. Yesterday, I don't know if you had the chance to uh, hear Morton's speech about empathy. He was saying something that really struck a chord with me. He says that the people who are here, the people who contribute and show up to events, we are the 1%. We are the privileged ones. Translating all the things will make it easier for the rest of the 99% to get on board as users first and eventually as contributors. So if you can translate WordPress in any language that is not American English, please go do that. This is really, really important for everyone. And then we had support. Support uh, makes all the difference for somebody that is going around 
desperately looking for an answer. Uh, you know the feeling when you don't know something and you, you have really no idea about this issue, so you don't even know which questions to ask. <laughs> Uh, so you go to a forum and if you're not a skilled developer, it doesn't matter. You can go there and help people out because if you know one thing about WordPress, maybe it's installing WordPress, maybe it's installing a plugin or change the language of your WordPress. It doesn't matter. If you know one thing, go to the forum, look for somebody that is asking that question and give that answer. It, it will make all the difference in the world. And finally, during our amazing Contributor Day, we sent our application for the first WordCamp in Italy since 2013. And in last April, we hosted WordCamp Torino. Uh, we, had a, we had a full house. We had uh, 300 people coming, 17 volunteers, 24 speakers, 9 organizers. We had talks in Italian and in English. And we had an incredible Contributor Day where 100 people showed up to make WordPress, because this is what open source is about. So remember all the people smiling at the beginning of the presentation. So that's us at Contributor Day in Torino, smiling even after a long, long day of work. So here is a short list of very easy to implement things that you can do to start today uh, your community and give it a little bit of tender love and care that it deserves. First of all, show up. That's an easy one. <laughs> uh, not only to these amazing WordCamps, uh, show up to your local community, show, you, show up to your local meetup. If there isn't one, start one. Apply to host a WordCamp. Uh, this is overwhelming. WordCamps are not like this. WordCamp Europe and WordCamp US are like this. All the WordCamp can be 50 people at a community center with sandwiches brought from home. Um, the WordCamp Central will take care of the coffee because coffee is really important. So you don't have to take care of the coffee, okay? You just get to, know, to have 50 people in a room talking about WordPress. That's pretty easy. We get excited about it. So it's not a big, big thing to do. You can do it. Um, help others. Make it very easy for people to join. Give clear instructions. Uh, make it less intimidating as possible. Encourage all kinds of people to come and talk. Meetups are not only for developers, are not only for designers, are not only for bloggers. Oh, they are for everyone who's excited about WordPress or everyone that doesn't know yet that he's excited about WordPress, but they will be <laughs> after the first <laughs> after the first meetup. Um, try to think about different models of meetups because not everyone enjoys the speaker attendee uh, thing. Uh, not everyone will step up and say, yes, I will give a talk about it, but do it, do unconferences. Unconferences are great. Uh, contributing sprints, Q and A's. There are so many things you can do at a meetup, and they're very fun to do. And also help others. If you see that a city is struggling, lend a hand. If you are struggling, ask for help. There's nothing wrong about it. Make it inclusive. So I want to read this. Uh, we are committed to providing a friendly, safe, and welcoming environment of all for all, regardless of gender, sexual orientation, disability, ethnicity, religion, preferred operating system, programming language, or text editor. This is the code of conduct for all WordCamps. You are not formally required as a meetup organizer to have the long version of it in your meetup page, but you are required to read it, understand it, embrace it, and commit to enforce it if something would happen. Encourage diversity and inclusion. I cannot stress this enough. So as we said, meetups are not only for developers, designers, and they're not only for 20-something male developers wearing goofy t-shirts. <laughs> they are really for everyone. And I'm really, really proud to say that many Italian meetups have a large number of women attending because, hey, we are there. We're not just telling other women to come. 
We go there and we have fun, we laugh. Ah, this is really, really important. Step back. If you're lucky enough, if you're fortunate enough of being one of the people that will help a community grow, remember that this is not about you. Doing something for a community means that when you leave, your efforts will stay there. The results of what you did will stay there for years to come. So please step back and let other people shine. It's their turn now. And last but not least, have fun. <laughs> I mean, make friends, <laughs> have some good food. After the series of Emmanuel and talking about people, I realized that it's just not Italians really into food. <laughs> Food makes people cheerful. You don't need a sponsor to do that. Uh, hey, if you don't have a sponsor to pay for pizza, have the meetup in a pizzeria. Uh, have it at someone's house and ask everyone to bring snacks and drinks. And laugh, have fun, talk about your favorite topics that is WordPress. So this is our story. I'm very happy to be here today to tell it. And I hope you heard something that will help you uh, go out today and do more for your local community. If you have questions, I will be at the Get Involved table. It's the community table. It's right outside this room. If you have any question, bring it. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much.